playlist is a person like me and you. I have playlists on my phone right now. If I go on my phone, I have dope playlists that I love, right? I got a playlist right. called called Love 0863. That's the playlist of me and my wife. When we met, this is all the songs we was listening to. I know there's a bunch of other people that was in love <laughs> when I was in love. You was in love like I was in love, and you love these records too, right? But that's my playlist. Right. If I make that playlist public, a bunch of other people may also like that playlist, and they may start following that playlist. It's because they're like, ooh, I like this song. I like this array of I like how they set these songs up. If I mess around and get 20,000 okay. people following it, next thing you know, I'm like, oh, shit, 20,000 people like what I like? Now I am all of a sudden a playlister. Like, becoming a playlister isn't hard. You can become your own playlister. Y'all can go out there and make your own playlist. But anyway, that's a different challenge. But once you once you become a playlister, what happens is people start reaching out to you saying, hey, man, you have this playlist. I'll pay you $100 if you put me on there. And you're going to put you on my playlist? Really? Like, for, for a person that just made a playlist because they love the music, it's weird to them. But this is how playlisting right. starts. This is the organic foundation of it. There are people that have made a business out of it that have went out there and said, hey, I'm going to get as many followers to our playlist as possible. Then I'm going to charge people for slots and blah, blah, blah. Right? This is playlisting in a nutshell. So you're going to go out there and you're going to communicate with all the people that run the various different playlists. Some of them are organizations that are hard to touch. Some of them are individuals. You're going to build relationships with them. You're going to pay them. You're going to ask them to put your record on there. You're going to fight to get your record high up in the playlist because no one listens to 100 songs in a playlist, right? So like you want to fight right. to be toward the top. You're going to play the game. You're going to pay this person $100 to be on there for four weeks. You're going to pay someone else $500 to be on theirs for four weeks. You're going to pay someone. You're going to pay for play. You're going to pay for being on all these playlists. Does Spotify support this? No. But is that the culture and what's happening? Yes. Right? You're going to get on all these different playlists. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? Your followers are going to go up because you're on these playlists. Spotify is going to see you on these playlists. They're going to put you on more playlists because you're on playlists. You're going to start popping up in people's Discover Weekly. Right? All these things start happening. Uh, so you start from the bottom okay. and you just kill everything at the bottom and work your way up. Like, that's the organic, I don't have no money approach. I'm not saying that you don't have no money, but if that would be the organic, I don't have no money approach. If you got bread, then okay. you can start talking to some of these higher playlisters and just paying to get in. Like, I know cats, you're like, yo, how much you got? There's different levels. Like, yo, this playlist, you can pay 150. You can be on all these different platforms, 150K. There's another one. There's other people. Those are brokers. Like, there's brokers that do that. Then there's cats that are like, yo, you know, I have relationships with, with playlisters, and if you pay me $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, I'm going to work your record on all these different playlist platforms. It's all these people that do provide these services. Do you have to vet them? Are some people bullshitting? Are some of them whack? Are some of them good? Yes, but that's your due diligence that you have to do, and it's going to cost you money to figure it out. It's going to cost you money to find yeah. out who's real and who's bullshit, but you got to spend it to find it out. And once you have that relationship, you keep working it, you pay that person. You put them on a monthly retainer, they keep working your records. Okay, yeah, because I'm like, we have been bullshitted a couple times. Like, we had somebody that were like, oh, well, your music isn't, because they, I guess their playlist was more for, like, depressing or something. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah they the were emo, like, oh, emo your rap. Music yeah. Isn't for our, yeah, our they're audience. like, but if you pay us, we can connect, we can connect you with other playlisters. And I'm like, well, how is that? I don't know. I just felt like we got scammed a few times where it was like, well, they tried to, but we were like, we kind of like caught onto it before we spent money and then there was some where we did spend a little and it was just like total BS. You gotta be so savvy. So the hard part is like finding, for me it's like trying to find the, you know, the legit playlists where I can get the song on there. When it comes to that, um, <laughs> so I, I know people, but um, they're all at different price points and I don't, I don't like referring people to things that cost absorbent amount of money because if it doesn't go right if your relationship with that person doesn't go yeah. right i doesn't want i don't want it to be on me um but what i yeah. do what i do know is that for you navigating the situation there are there are bs's and there's no way around it right you got to figure that out you got to be able to navigate and you know it's just it's almost like i hate to say it but it's like the streets you know there's, there's someone there's someone else sell you powder yeah. You gotta, you gotta know what it is <laughs> that you buying. You gotta, you gotta be astute, and you have to know your business. You have to know what you're doing. So you should be targeting the playlist that you want and looking for those people. Um, I, I, the process of just finding someone that says, "Oh, I can get you on playlist," that typically doesn't go well uh, because there's more people scamming in that space. But if you go find the playlist that you're interested in, and then you chase them down, you know that what you're looking for is real. Okay. 
Yeah, like that's that how that's, that's I mean that's how I did it, and then in the process of doing that, I ended up finding people that were more legit that I put my money behind, and we were already aligned because we were already on the same shit. So is it more work? Yes. Is it really easy to pass the ones like, hey, come to my website, pay me five hundred dollars, and I'll get you on all these playlists? That seems so easy. Just give you five hundred, great. But could you get scared? Right. Yeah. Is it harder to find the playlist owner and say, oh, your playlist name is XJ1555, and then you're Googling that, trying to find a Facebook page, trying to find their mystery name, what city they're from, do they have an email? Like, yeah, it sucks. You got to chase these motherfuckers down. But once you find them, guess what? You create a library. You create, you put yeah. them all in Excel. The next thing you know, you have a list of all the playlisters, and guess what? You become the playlist plug. Motherfuckers can start coming to you. You can start side hustling. You can start side hustling and shit. You can start using money from other artists to fund your husband's career. Because you know yeah, all the playlists. You know? Like, it's it's work. But, again, I said this on, on, on the other episode. People pay for two things. They pay for something that either they cannot do or that they do not want to do. So, mm-hmm, if you're paying, true. it's because you don't want to do the work. So, if you don't want to do the work then go pay people and you may get scammed but that's fine keep paying till someone doesn't scam you if you don't like that idea then go do the work yourself and you won't get scammed but it's work and it's gonna suck and it's gonna be annoying and you're gonna have to do the work and this is the reason yeah. people pay people because no one wants to do that shit <laughs> or they didn't right. know how to until they heard this episode or heard me talking to you right now right like playlisting isn't okay. a crazy concept. You're talking to a random person that has a playlist that people just so happen to like. You're talking to regular human beings and you're building a relationship. Mhm. That makes sense. So I just gotta. <laughs> yeah. You gotta. You gotta That's put the work, work in. I mean, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I don't mind because I'm like, I'm, a, I'm big on like researching and like looking up stuff and figuring out stuff on my own but I just hate when I when I feel like I get stuck and I'm like when I get it's almost like how people get writer's block yep. I'm not a writer but like sometimes I feel like I get like trapped in a black hole and I'm like okay usually I would know which way to go or what to do next but sometimes it's just like I feel okay I'm like I feel like we've tried quite a bit of things and it's like what am I missing? No, I agree. That makes total sense. I agree. I have, what I've noticed for people that are in this game is that a lot of people, um, they, they're hustling and hustling. They reach a barrier. They reach the next level and then they're stuck. They're running around in circles, chasing their tail because they don't know what to do. Um, and it's just a mm-hmm. knowledge thing. And, um, luckily I, I have the information. I can share it to you and tell you what to do. And once you get that knowledge, you unlock it, boom, a whole nother level opens up for you. So boom, this playlist of things starts popping, your record's all over the place. Next thing you know, you'll be asking me about merchandising and touring and how do I do that shit? You'll get stuck again. You'll be like, I don't know what to do now, <laughs> right? It's just how it goes. Like, yeah. and, and I had to break through the same barriers myself. Luckily, I, I, I was so blessed to be born in a, not born, well, born, well, grow up in a neighborhood where it just so happened that, you know, on my story, fucking boys to men was recording songs up the street from my house usher was recording strippers so it was like up the street from the house around the corner i I walked around the corner and was in a studio with the top motherfuckers in the music business like that was proximity like i was blessed that was an opportunity everyone doesn't get that so i got the as a kid go and sit into a, a in a studio in someone's house and be around greatness as a child, 13 years old. So I got to yeah. learn a lot of shit that the people don't necessarily know. So I get it. It's hard to find this shit out. Um, but um, it's not hard. This game is not voodoo. It's not smoke and mirrors. It's not magic. Everything in the music industry is very easy. It's just work. People spend a lot of the time doing two things. A, not wanting to work. B, not knowing how to fucking work. If you can, if you can okay, overcome yeah. those two <laughs> things, you'll win. It's, like, I should put that on a t-shirt. You <laughs> fucking win. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's not hard. Right. It's not hard. But it's a lot. It's a it's a lot of work. And luckily for you, you know, you're married to the talent. I mean, shit. You know, the hardest part, one of the hardest parts about this game is, is as a manager or a business person, is trusting the fucking talent. Talent will leave. Talent will do all sorts of things. Talent. Talent. Oh man, talent. That's hard. Yeah. Right. So you know what you're up for. You know you're. 
you know, I, I'm not going to blow up the spot or nothing like that. But, you know, y'all are married together. And you know you guys are going to go through the ups and downs of this game and dealing with this space and this industry and the shit that you guys will have to go through as a couple, you as a manager, seeing, you know, what happens and how it works. And, you know, it's just a lot to navigate. And the two of you together will have to be strong and figure these things out and make compromises and understand where y'all want to be. And uh, obviously, I heard him in the background. I know he's listening. I heard him in the background throwing a couple things out there. Like, yo, you know, so like y'all working together. Y'all doing exactly <laughs> what the fuck y'all supposed to be doing. That's how it works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's supposed to be doing. Like, he the artist. Y'all can't be in this conversation. But make sure you say this. Yeah, y'all working. Do your thing. You know? Keep, yeah. <laughs> keep, I got to take a note. <laughs> keep I doing, like this down. <laughs> keep, doing, keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all work together, you know, to make y'all lives better. But right now, everything that i just said about about playlisting is also true for blogging is also true for booking and shows is also true for events it's the same philosophy it's just executed in different ways so you know more information like this check out the the info packs i put on the website i put them out there i write pages and pages of me talking real shit and just i write them intentionally yeah. like i talk so that it's easy to understand cop some of them the ones that are relevant don't buy nothing that doesn't make no sense to you i'm not trying to do no plug i'm just telling you like for what you're trying to do i've already written down some stuff so grab it and read it and apply it okay yeah thank you no problem man it's like i feel like i feel like a little weight lift like lifted off of my shoulders because i'm just because I even, like, said, and I'm just like, dude, I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, And my thing, I'm like, maybe we need to, like, because I know, like, we need to um, work the his current fan base, like, his people, like, his followers. And, uh, like, that's one of the things I feel like he's not um, taking advantage of right now. So I've been, like, on him about that. Like, you got to take advantage of that. You know, you got to nurture you, the people that's riding with you now so then they can bring more people onto you, like, you know. Yeah, but he's so, he's an artist. I don't know. So you gotta think about this. I'm gonna tell you, like from an artist perspective, is artists want to be purist, um, but artists purists are broke. So if you want to be successful artists, you have to learn to to be a master or become master like of the things that you are uncomfortable doing. If there's a list of things that are required for you to be a great artist, an artist puts an emphasis on the things that they're good at. I'm good at rapping, I'm good at writing, I'm good at performing, I'm good at staying in shape, I'm good at like, but on that same scale, there's also, or do you communicate, do you, do you do social media posts, do you post regularly, do you do you take pictures correctly, do you understand lighting, do you understand angles, and the artist will say, I want to hire someone to do that, someone else should do that, I shouldn't have to do that, yes, one day, you won't have to do that, but yeah. today, motherfucker, you got to do that, you know, you got to do that shit today, yeah. that's how that shit works, you know what I'm saying, like, I've worked with artists that are like, Beyonce doesn't do radio drops, yeah, bitch, Beyonce doesn't do radio drops today, but shit, go back to Destiny's Child. She was on that shit. Say my name, say my name. V10543, <laughs> call in right now. <laughs> fuck, do that shit. What the fuck you gotta do? You know, like, you gotta do that shit. You either do it or, or fail. Like, you gotta do that shit. It sucks. I don't understand camera angles. Yeah. You better get on YouTube and learn. You better get on get YouTube yeah. and act like you gives a fuck. You know, like, you gotta treat it like, like your life's on the line. Like, I remember when I, um... When I left, when I left entertainment, then I went to nonprofit and I gave everything to nonprofit. I put all my money up for these damn kids. Uh, not these damn kids. I really love those kids. But I was put, investing money in, in the DJJ and in, in the education system. I had a partnership with Neo and we were doing shit in, uh, uh, in the Neo and Chris Kids uh, organization. We were doing shit in all these uh, different uh, uh, outpatient facilities. And, you know, I was putting up money. I was putting up my own money. And I was going broke doing this shit. And I remember, I was like, yo, I got to get some cash. And I was doing television. I didn't like television. I didn't like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. No offense to them. Mona Scott is killing it. She's doing her thing. So all support to the crew. You know, that's the ex-violator uh, uh, click. But, like, there's a whole, there was just a whole, and my man Brian Jones would put me on. Shout out if you're listening. Um, but I remember I hit a spot where I was trying to figure out the next play. And my cousin, my cousin is in tech. He's the vice president of this tech company. He was like, hey, man, I can get you in doing graphic design. I said, graphic design, bro. I don't do no, I don't do no damn graphic design. I don't know nothing about no graphic design. I had a, ba <laughs> I had a baby on the way. I had my, my first daughter was on the way. I had, I had, I had walked away from entertainment. I, I mentally did not want to go back. Um, I had spent all my money in nonprofit. I was fucked up. I was jammed up. You know what the hell yeah. I was doing? 
I was online looking at YouTube videos on how to photo edit. Right now, to this day, I can make a rainy day look like it's sunny as fuck on Photoshop. Right now. <laughs> That's I, had, dope. I got kids to feed. Like, I ain't, you ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, yeah. you got to get out here and put in work. It's just what it is. It's shit you're not going to want to do, but it's required in order for you to be great. So be great. And guess what? When you hire someone to come in and do that shit next, you'll be able to tell them what the fuck to do. Hey, hey. Hey, I don't like that. My, my hey, take my picture at a yep. at a ninety two degree angle, not a ninety degree angle. It makes me look better. My chin looks better. You know what I'm saying? You gonna know what the fuck you talking about? Like That's I go, so into, you know, I go into a studio. I know everything. I know the compression, the reverb. I know everything. I'm like, yo, turn the ratio down. I'm like, how do you know this? I used to be an engineer. Oh shit. You know, like you 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 know, you'll learn shit. It'll make you better along the way. So tell him whatever's stopping him from from being great. He gotta overcome it. it, it otherwise, he don't want it bad enough. And that's that. Yeah, so, I agree. I got to get out of here, though. I appreciate the energy. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was motivational. I hope it gave you guys some guidance. And I hope it's guiding everybody else that is uh, listening to the channel. But um, I, I really appreciate you supporting. And, um, I mean, you've been, I think you've been rocking with us for a minute. Like, it doesn't, does it have a date on here? Yes. Like, like two years or something like that, right? Watching Dan's watching all of your videos. Uh, I re I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, I need another video. I put nothing up because <laughs> that was like a point where you like you like went MIA for a minute. Hey man! And then I was like, what the heck? So I, I would go between you and then the uh, Brian, the Brian Jones, him. Like I would go between both of you. I was like, what is it going on? He's not putting. And then you came out with the new videos, and I think it was like, was it last year? Yeah, it was when last year. I, I did some stuff and then I stopped. Yeah, yeah man, it's I had to stop again for life because I, I had again I got my new set of kids and I got married and I was just like, man, I want to just live this yeah. time, this time around. It was sweet, so yeah, I was I like, let it. me let me do this. But um, we back. We these nice. podcasts are getting ready to drop, and um, you know we're, we're breaking them up into pieces. There's a lot of content coming, and thank you for being a part of the podcast and being on an episode. Um, I really appreciate the the love and the energy, and I look forward to us having conversations in the future. Remember, if you have questions, shoot them to me because I'm going to be doing this regularly, regularly just reaching out to people at random and um, answer questions that they have. Uh, that is the format going forward. So I really appreciate your energy. You know, good luck to you and your artists, your, your hubby, your family. I wish you and your family the best. And, uh, and, and feel free to reach out, you know, if you have questions in the future. I'll try to get to it, no promises, but if I can, you know I will. That's how I'm built. That's what's up, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I appreciate you, you too. You always have great information. Thank you. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Enjoy your night too. Take care.